It's like listening to someone try to perform the Powerpuff Girls theme with a one of those Casio beatbox keyboards and a recorder. <laughs> now, I don't play Game Boy Color games on here very much, so I thought I'd throw one in and let me try this one I had from way back in the day. Oh so, yeah. Let's see. Ah, let's go ahead and erase that. Oh, of course, we have to just have the same name. Unfortunately, the Retron is not the best at the Game Boy Color stuff. Just Game Boy stuff in general. So it's a little... It's like... It feels weirdly stiff, I noticed. As well back, I played uh, Rampage on here. I notice the controls I'm trying to play on here are actually really stiff and somewhat hard to get a handle on. If you plug that game into a Game Boy Advance SP, it actually plays like a dream. It feels so smooth to play, so... Coloring, coloring, it's so nice and quiet here without Buttercup being mean and blossom blossoming me around. Huh? Did it just get cold in here? So, Bubbles, your sisters have left you behind again. Aren't you lonely? It's okay. I know they'll be back later. Besides, I've got lots of friends. Lots of friends indeed. At least you used to have friends. Now I've taken them from you. And without your sisters, I doubt you'll ever be able to get them back. But here, I'll give you some help. Here's a map of where I've hidden all of your friends. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Ta -ta! It says here that I can find Miss Bellum in Little Tokyo Bonsai Gardens. And here is Powerpuff Girls, my Game Boy Color. Oh goody! A training card! I can't wait to show it to the professor! There's always that struggle with superhero games, like, how do you handle the flight? That is totally George Jetson. How do you make, give them the ability to fly without just breaking the game altogether? Not that there aren't great games that let you fly. Like, you don't necessarily need platforming. But this one just chose to limit it. You can fly for a limited amount of time. In fact, there is no jump button. The buttons are dedicated to punch and, like, a super attack. Oh, shit! That's... Oh! oh woo! Made it! Apparently, <laughs> I thought I could stand on that. It looked exactly like the other rocks that I could stand on. Alright, got it. Fire! Stop! Holes anyway. I don't know. I don't know who she is. Ah, I can't get above the roof. Not a thing. Did you have to jump in the lake and not kill himself? No, he's running off. I don't know, that's kind of what it looked like just staring into the water. I don't know what to do anymore. God, the attack is so slow. back at the beginning. What's the point of those, anyway? I'm not going for 100%, so screw it. Alright, I 
Technically, I can just fly over everything. I don't have to do crap. Or I can get shot. I'm sure that mentality is exactly what they're trying to prevent by limiting the flight. <laughs> oh, I don't have to do anything in this game. Wait. No! Oh! Aw, oh, back here again. Hundred and thirty-nine. I think there's hundred and thirty-nine civilians to find. Wait. Earth Girls Hotline. You can switch between them? Wait. Because these games were kind of weird in that. I couldn't actually, I didn't think you could actually switch between them, because there were three games they made. One for each of the girls, basically blue, green, and pink. And the other two girls are supposed to be the stars of the other two games. Does that mean you could actually, like, unlock them in each other's games? Also, what the heck am I... Is this, like, not stage-based? Am I actually just looking for the... Let your guard down, sweetie. Him is still in the garden. Try to find the key to the inner garden. Perhaps you can stop him in his kidnapping scheme. Did I just pop up back at the beginning? I think I did. like a big old maze. Oh, maybe not. Uh, will I reach the other side? Yes, I will. Okay. It's kind of close, though. how the game is working. One of those cases where I might want to look up the instructions to see how it's actually played. You wouldn't think it would be that complicated. Ah. This door is locked. Okay, so that's what I need the key for. Is that 139 people in the game or in this level? If it's in this level, that's kind of insane. Ah! Bubbles, you look very tired. I think it's time to go Betty by now. 
Aw, him has spooked me too much to sleep. So sleepy. Bedtime. Night. Yes, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Just remember, don't look beneath your bed. <laughs> oh, that's it. like a full-on trading mechanic. Uh, how do I go back? There's bubbles! There we go. There's some secrets. I wonder what kind of secrets there are. Game options. I can turn off the music. It's probably not be a terrible idea. I have no cheats. Game select. Oh! Okay. Uh, no. Five percent done. Oh, level twenty-five percent done. That's not as bad, but that's still. That guy had a voice in the Game Boy Color game. back. Can I get up there? Yes, I can. But I cannot progress. Okay. Yeah, the way momentum works is was throwing me off. I'm trying to like drop down and barely get something. But think she's like accelerating as she goes down. I have to hit the up button early to actually stop her from hitting what she's about to hit. Which makes sense, momentum is a thing, but it's just hard to get a handle on. has a freaking map to it. Uh oh. I smashed up and I couldn't stop myself. Oh, stop.
There actually is a better Powerpuff Girls game I might play at some point on the Game Boy Advance. It's not great, but it's better. Right into it. again. Stuff over. Ah, I made it. Time to think. How many like 2D collectathons were there back then? I don't think they were all that common. Platformers tend to be very, like, basic platforming by design. Oh no, go up! No, no! Ah, oh, damn it! Ugh. What is that thing over there? Like a butterfly or? Ugh. I can't get back to the first stage. head back then was actually the buttercup one, the green one. I don't remember it being as needlessly complex as this. I remember it being fairly simple and straightforward. Maybe that one is. It's like some of them are more collectathon y than others. Probably not. Hello, can I stand on the clouds? 
I can. A whole little place up here. Put all Mario on me. Hello. I mean, that's another way to interpret flight. Have people walk on clouds. Oh, it's 139 collect. That same goddamn pit. Oh, this realm's like a mid stage checkpoint. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, that I want to see what that is. Is that just a store by flight capabilities? Is that what that did? Just in case you're falling to your death. Touch it, I'm falling so fast. Slamming the up arrow won't actually save me. I was holding up. And you saw her try to turn up, but she was just falling so fast, she couldn't stop herself by that point. So what is it even the point of putting that there? That's amazing! <laughs> at all, it continues draining the flight meter, even if you're not pressing up. So effectively, if you've flown at all, you're still draining power, even if you're just free-falling. Which is absolutely horrendous. Which, I mean, I guess the having it stop drain if you stop holding up just pretty much allows you to fly indefinitely. Which, I don't know why they didn't just do that in the first place. Clearly the game isn't really designed as a platformer. It is way too clunky for that. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know why you would do that. The Game Boy Advance version actually does that. It says, screw all that platforming noise. It's literally a, like a scavenger hunt is what it is. And you can fly indefinitely, which is probably how this should be. Uh-oh. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe I'll try the green one sometime. I haven't actually played the blue one since I got it. Like a year or two ago, I thought I'd give it a go. Yeah, that was the Powerpuff Girls Battle Hymn. Later. <laughs>